Well, today I'm at uh, Arthur's Scrap Metal Yard. Uh, I'm in the old Ute. Um, I've just driven across from the other side of town. We're at it uh, just off Grand Junction Road, and uh, I'm about to go and have a bit of a look around to uh, try and get a bit of scrap flat uh, steel off of him. And uh, um, I've had a previous video showing his yard, but. Uh, this time I might see if I can take some photos of his um, of his old Leyland trucks, which you might find interesting, and I'll just have a bit more of a hunt around. So, okay, we'll see you know, what's uh, what's inside. Yeah, so here's uh, Arthur's old Leyland diesel he's got. Um, last time I was here, I I did a bit of a shot because now I've got the better camera, so you can have the better video. But. Uh, this is the old trucks they used to use uh, up at uh, Lyndhurst to uh, haul the uh, the talc from the talc mine up there, and uh, she's uh, she's an old girl. This one, but uh, people that are into trucks might find this interesting. It's uh, certainly. Seen better days. Here we are inside. Oh, she's uh, she's slightly deteriorated. This thing could tell a few stories. Yeah, interesting all these old things. Here's yeah, another one of Arthur's old tracks. This is another, they're all islands. Well, I think they're all islands, I'm not a truck expert, but this is a cab over chassis of some sort. I think they made. Oh, I don't know, terriers and goodness knows what models, but uh, this one's been through the through the mill. If he flies around today. Here's another shot of that old Leyland. I don't know if they're a, I think they might have been called a terrier or something like that, but uh, well, uh, have a look inside of it. See what she's like. And he's sitting right next to the motor. So everything's uh, going to get pretty hot in there by the look of it. It's hot and noisy. And uh, he's actually got a fire extinguisher on the other side of it there. But, uh, Interesting looking at these old girls. Think of the hours people put in flogging up and down the road and these old things. Interesting. Very yeah, interesting looking at this old stuff. There's a couple more here rotting in the in the back of the yard, a couple of old once again cab over chassis. I'm not going in there to have a look, it's a bit uh, it's a bit too bit scratchy looking for me. I'll try and come up from the other side. Uh, it's too hard to get in there and have a good close look but uh, everything's overgrown to buggery. And uh, they're weighed down with all sorts of gear yeah, you can see here what's uh, she's like inside she's pretty rough seen better days once again, if you want, you know, any heavy angle tubing, RHS 
these are the places to get it because it's uh, okay it's rusty but it can all be uh, well, I buffed back to good as new, and uh, I mean, look at this, you can have any any size and grade you want. This stuff's massive. But, uh, so, yeah, you'd get this here. All this stuff would go for scrap price, basically, which would be next to nothing. It's the way to buy steel.